If you're looking to broaden your perspectives and bring in everything around you, then this video on wide angle lenses in the Canon EF Lens 101 series will help you get there. Wide angle photography lets you capture a broader field of view than most lenses and generally falls into the 15 to 30 millimeter focal lengths. For example, a zoom lens may only let us capture this much of a scene in front of us. But with a wide angle lens, we can capture this. As you can see, we've brought much more of the scene into the photo. Landscape photography is probably one of the most popular uses of a wide angle lens. Great examples would be beaches where you want to capture your whole environment with the sand and the water and bring it all together. Or even mountains and lakes where you want to capture the beauty of the reflections of the lake in front of you, but then also include the mountains in the background. They're not just for landscapes though. Cities and architecture make great subjects for wide angle lenses too. There's no better way to show off the size of a cityscape than with a wide angle lens. Also, if you want to capture everything in a large room of a beautiful building or house, then you'll want to grab your wide lens. And when you want to show off people in a large area and show the scale of how small they appear, a wide lens is the way to go. Now, once you're out photographing with a wide angle lens, here's some tips on getting the best photos. Depending on what time of day you're shooting, you may need a tripod. If you're shooting at sunrise or sunset, then you'll need to make sure you stabilize the camera to get the sharpest photo possible. One of the best ways to use a wide angle lens is to think about everything from the foreground to the background. Think about bringing your viewers into the scene. So having something really strong in the foreground to help place people there helps out a lot. Here's a good example. These rocks in the foreground, they give the viewer a place of reference so they know where the photo was taken from, but yet they can still see all of the water and all of the mountains in the sky in the background to get a feel for what you saw when you were there taking the photo. Okay, quick tip. Just because you can go really wide, it doesn't mean that you always should. The wider you go, the more you compress everything in the background. So if your scene contains, say, a city skyline in the background, and you want the buildings to be a strong part of the photo, maybe try zooming in on the lens rather than shooting it as wide as it'll go. Here's an example of a skyline taken at two different focal lengths. The first one you see here was shot wider than it needed to be. You can see how the buildings are so small, they, they lose the size and the relationship that we're trying to portray. The second one, though, was zoomed in and it's not quite as wide. The buildings are now a major part of the photo and you get a much better feel for the size of the city. Now, Canon's got over 10 lenses that are officially in the wide category, but don't forget that there are several standard zoom lenses, such as the 18 to 135, that fall into the wide angle focal range as well. Next up in the EF Lens 101 series, we're gonna cover telephoto lenses and how they help you get closer to the action.